Hmm. What is he thinking? I just want to know. Should I ask him? Should I not ask him? Why do I need to know? Because I just want to know. So, I'm going to ask him. And here's what I'm going to do. Stay tuned. All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So, you're wondering what your man is thinking. And you want to know how to get him to tell you without saying, what are you thinking? Because that really just doesn't work, does it? Nah, I didn't think so. Okay, so I got three things for you to do. First, let me just say that this is only going to work if you have noticed that your dude's attitude has gone different or he has become very silent. He's sitting over there just doing things differently, like he's a talker, but now he's silent. He usually shares things with you, but now he's silent, right? He usually vents to you about X, Y, and Z. Now he's silent. Did you get the thing? He's now silent. You have noticed a shift in how he usually is. So here's what you do. The number one thing I want you to do is for you not to assume that whatever he's thinking about is about you. Because it just might not be. Even if it is, at some point he's going to tell you. But you, the purpose of this is you're trying to get him to tell you right then and there, right? So don't assume it's about you. That way, when you do approach him, you're not like, oh, I'm, oh, this is about me, but let me just go ahead and get it over with. I want him to tell me. I want to know right now, and your head is doing all of this stuff, too. Mm -mm. Just don't even assume it's about you. Number two, when you see that he has gone silent for whatever reason, give him his space. I know. It's hard. Because you want to know. You want to help. You want to comfort him. You want to nurture him. But that's a woman's language. That's not a man's language. He wants to pull away. He wants to try to figure it out. And in order to do that, he has to shut down and lightweight shut you out. Because he has to figure out what's going on up here. How to solve the problem. Because that's what men do. That's what they are. They are problem solvers. And he doesn't want to be coddled by you because he wants to try to figure it out. Doesn't mean that he's trying to leave you out at the final stages anyway. But this is in the beginning stages. He's trying to figure it out. So he's trying to solve the problem. Number three. This is the most important out of all of them. You want to make sure that when you approach your guy, you ask him, What's going on? Why has he now gone silent? And then you tell him, whenever you're ready to tell me, I'm here to listen. Now that's the most important ingredient to these three. Here's why. First of all, he's used to you kind of lightweight nagging him about, come on, tell me what's going on. Or you getting upset because he didn't include you in what's ever bothering him right now. So now he's going to see a shift in you. It's going to cause a shift in him. So let me give you a real life example in my own relationship. <laughs> Sometimes my fiance actually watches my videos, so maybe he'll watch this one. And then he'll kind of get a clue of what I do to him most of the time. So here's a real life example. I noticed that my man is shutting down. He has now gotten quiet. We talk a lot. We share a lot. So if I'm noticing that he's quiet, something is absolutely going on up here. So here's what I do. Hey, boo. I noticed that you're quiet tonight. What's going on? What you working on? Because usually he's on his computer or something. What you working on? What's going on? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I'm actually kind of pissed off right now. Oh, okay, well, sorry to hear that. Is there something that I could do? Do you want to talk about it? Now, here's the key. He either says, no, I leave him alone. If you say no, I don't, again, I'm not assuming it's about me. So, okay, you want to figure it out yourself. Or, or number two, he does, uh, I kind of don't want to tell you because I know that you're going to X, Y, and Z. Well, are you sure? Actually, when he says something like that, he's still hesitant to tell me. 
but we do eventually talk about it. He kind of goes around about it, but we talk about the issue. Okay, this is my final approach. I'll say, okay, well, just let me know. When you're ready to talk about it, I'm here. And then I'll go back to doing whatever it is I'm doing. Whatever it is I'm doing, I go back and I just leave them alone. Now, that one right there, <laughs> after a few minutes go by, he'll just finally be like, you know what, here's the thing. I'm pissed off because blah, 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 right? He wins because he gets to talk about it. I win because I get to listen and I get to know what's bothering him. In turn, we're now, we're now speaking. Usually we're laughing afterwards. And the pressure that he was feeling, for whatever reason, has now dissipated. We're laughing about it. We're joking about whatever the issue is. And again, it wasn't about me. So... I'll let him figure it out because I understand that he needed that time and space to try to figure things out by himself. So, ladies, apply these things because knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is better. You will get the information that you want by approaching things differently. Now, let me know what you guys do. Because I love to read you guys' comments. Let me know what you do in order to get your man to speak. Now, fellas who are watching this, let me know am I right. Do you have a tendency to open up a little bit more when the woman backs off of you? Because a lot of women need to hear this. If you do, please put it down below because a lot of women need to hear it from the horse's mouth, meaning the man. Finally, if this is your very first time to I Love Me, 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 and you want to be a part of Team I Love Me, 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 where we are dramatically decreasing the divorce rate here, you make sure that you hit the icon or the red subscribe button so you, too, can be a part of Team I Love Me, 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 where you will be able to gather all of the tools that you need in order to have a happy, healthy, romantic relationship with your boo, okay? <laughs> And if you like this video, make sure that you give me thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next video. Two fingers.